Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at those of you who are females who have very significant placements of Aries in your birth chart. Before we get into your reading, I want to invite you all to book a personal private session with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link to my website under this video for your convenience. Also, I would like to invite you all to follow my other social media platforms and you can find the information for those accounts below this video as well too. I am going to go ahead and get into the messages for those of you who are females with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart. Now I'm getting distinctively that our, there are two groups of you that um, the messages will, will may or may not resonate with. For the first group of you, I feel that um, this is for those of you who are on the wrong side of karma, essentially, and you have did sneaky deceptive lying gossiping and just been you know doing things that you thought that you were not going to get caught doing um that's for one group of you and then the other group of you are the individuals who have been um working on the right side of karma and essentially you can just expect positive uh beneficial effects to come to you because of you being on the right side of karma and doing what is just doing what is right upholding a sense of um, values morals principles being honest working with integrity um, and doing what is right okay so let's go ahead and get into the messages for you all Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get those of you who are on the wrong side of judgment out of the way. Because if I'm being completely, frankly honest, you are not my designated audience anyways. However, I am under divine instruction to give these messages. Um, so that's the reason why I will just go ahead and briefly, you know, touch base on the messages that are here for you all that you are needing to hear or that is needing to be given to you so essentially just reiterating what i said already earlier um i feel like a lot of you have been on the wrong side of karma okay you know what you have done i'm not going to get into specifics about it um because like i said i just don't really want to stay in this energy too long because you're not my designated audience um for the fact that i don't see you making a significant effort to be better or to change now it would be different if this was those of you who were you know wanting to make a difference and change and have a second chance at life but i don't see that you're doing it i see that you have been continuously you know just trying to um negatively do things in life and think that you're going to get away with it um, but I see that you're under heavy scrutiny and judgment and that you are going to be punished for this, okay, um, is what I'm seeing. I do see some, some of you are um, feeling the ramifications of this or it's just the fear of this creeping up on you that really has you losing sleep, um, could really have you up in your heads, just really have you stressed and worried a, a, about this. And I feel like... Um, I do just see like that there is going to be some type of um, situation that comes with I'm hearing like a punishable offense okay so maybe some of you are dealing with some type of legal ramifications okay and I do see that this is this is something that um, you are going to have to face your you are going to have to deal with um, is what I'm seeing it's not something that you could uh, lie or steal or cheat your way out of maybe if that's what you've done in the past um, I just kind of feel like it's almost like it's come to a head like there's been so much that's been done because I kind of get an energy of someone continuing to sweep something under the rug so whatever has been done um, that you've continued to sweep under the rug or whatever that you've continued to do that you've probably had more than enough opportunities to stop doing that and you chose to continue to do something besides um, realizing and knowing from a higher perspective that the things that you were doing is essentially low vibrational negative and that there are consequences for this like essentially what I'm seeing is you all knew better and you continue to 
um, do some type of um, acts or activity and engage in certain things that you already knew the ramifications for. So it's not a sense of you being um, like naive in a sense that you didn't know better, like you knew better. I also see some of you intentionally were trying to that you intentionally intentionally have harmed individuals like physically harmed individuals or that that has been your intention to um, harm other individuals okay so I just see that um, there could be situations that you're you're dealing with and I just kind of see essentially that karma is here um, and those of you on the wrong side of karma like you are going to be experiencing the ramifications of that I mean that's just kind of basically what I see the messages that are here for you it's, it's kind of no getting around it like it it is what it is okay so that's all for those of you now moving on to those of you who are on the right side of karma I do want to let you all know that um I feel like your hard work and your effort to f this could be for those of you who maybe you know you did probably do things that you we're not afraid, I mean, not afraid of, but that you were not proud of, but I feel like some of you have made significant um, positive changes in your life, um, then you definitely can expect to see positive things that are going to um, come about in your life. So I feel like for some of you, maybe where there were instances where you were on the wrong side of a situation, but then you decided to do the right thing, you're going to, you know, see the positive uh, repercussions of that unfold in your life. So I feel like that's something to um, look forward to. I also see for others of you who just, you know, normally operate with a sense of truth and honesty and integrity. I do see you have some type of amazing and wonderful surprises coming in for you. So I feel like um, there could be like something secret or um, going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of that um, is going to come in to you. So this could be someone that is planning to surprise you. Um, with some good news or let's see if we can get more information on that so yeah I do see some good news for those of you like I said who are on the right side of uh, karma or who have decided to you know do the right thing in a particular situation or just you know just course correct yourselves and, and take positive strides and measures to just you know get on the right side and, and do the right thing um, this also couldn't tell some of you have realized that there are certain individuals that you need to cut out of your life. So maybe if you, you know, you were once dealing with individuals who were negative influences, I see some of you have positively made those changes and you're going to see the positive ramifications of that. Um, I see if this is a situation maybe where some of you were dealing with legal issues and you were involved in a situation, um, you will positively see some type of um a sense of like either leniency or like sympathy or compassion that you will receive in regards to the situation so you will get a like you will get um an opportunity to clear your name is what i'm getting you will get an opportunity to speak and share your side of the situation and then I also see you getting some type of len leniency or like sympathy or compassion, okay, for you doing the right thing in the situation. And then for others of you, like I said, where you just normally operate in this energy of just trying to be more of a positive um, individual operating with the sense of do unto others as you want done unto you or just a sense of having, you know, integrity. Um, I do just see that there is a love interest who has taken notice of this so i do see some of you coming into new love some of you could have significant placements of libra in your birth chart is what i'm picking up for those of you who are on the right side of karma and justice so i do see you you, you do have someone um who whose eye you have caught okay i feel this individual has a lot of warm feelings for you um, so I feel like you have a secret admirer at the time, but I do feel this person could be planning to come towards you is what I'm seeing. Yeah, this is a soulmate. I feel this individual is looking at you as uh, a very significant counterpart. Okay, like a significant romantic counterpart. This person could be seeing you as someone who is their true love. Okay. 
And I feel like it's because of the work that you've done on yourself or just the energy that you embody where um, this, the qualities that you embody is qualities that this individual um, really admires. So there's something about you being very blunt, something about you being direct, something about you being honest, something about you just being um, no nonsense and that you just don't take crap from other people or th that you just don't tolerate, you know, people who um, choose to do things where they know better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that has set you apart and it, it makes you stand out. And if I guess what it is is if there have been individuals who have been intimidated by your presence and your energy and your aura because you're so strong-willed and you're strong strong mind and you could be very strongly opinionated i do feel that whoever this individual i keep hearing emperor so this could be someone who is embodying emperor energy they may have taurus placements they may have aries placements but this person is very is a leader or a leader figure or a, a authority figure so i do see that this individual is um seeing you as somebody who they could be in a relationship with now for others of you this definitely could be some type of work opportunity that may be getting presented to you so this could be an individual who is seeing you as like the perfect like partner that they are wanting to work with in a collaborative manner so this could be someone who um, has been looking for someone with your qualities your traits your sense of integrity your morals your values maybe your frankness and I feel like you are someone that this individual has their eyes on and they want to partner with you. So I feel like um, you will find out more information about this soon. Um, so for some of you, this is a business opportunity. Okay, that where you're going to get to partner with someone very significantly. Um, or someone who has some type of significant like role or um Someone who makes a very significant impact or significant influence is what I'm saying. And then for others of you, I do see this could be a love interest. Maybe for some of you as well too, this situation will embody both. So you will get a, a significant love romantic companion who sees you as their ideal perfect mate. I feel you're going to view this individual as your ideal perfect mate as well too. The traits and qualities that you've always wanted in a partner, I feel this person is going to embody and exude. And this person is going to be very loving and... um. I feel like very emotional this person's gonna give you a lot of like I feel like attention and this person's gonna praise you this person's gonna put you on a pedestal I feel like this person is just gonna give you the love that you've always wanted because with you coming up as the Queen of Swords energy this could be maybe some of you have went through major separations divorces losses or maybe some of you have um, like you may be widows okay so I do feel like this has made you kind of you know have a no-nonsense approach to life in the sense that you value life so much that you're not going to allow the wrong people to waste your time. And I feel like now because you've stepped into that energy, you're you're attracting in or you've attracted in and caught the eye of an individual who really appreciates that. They really admire that. They could have been looking for someone all along who has really been about that life is what I'm getting. Like they want someone who is about like they, they embody the energy that they talk they're not just all talk and no show or they're not just all talk and then non-committal or just not serious or ready i feel like this individual likes your seriousness they like they like you they just like you for who you are um and i feel like this person is not intimidated by you i feel this whatever you give off i feel they like it they love it they want some more of it is what I'm getting like this person really really likes your energy is what I'm getting and they really like how you talk they really like how you communicate they really like how you are so honest and forthright and express yourself I feel like they love your candidness like maybe they've never had people who were this candid this person could have dealt with individuals who have been liars cheaters and swindlers you know what I'm saying so I feel like this person really um I'm hearing they approve they approve of you okay but they really approve of like the fact that you just keep it real is what I'm seeing. They really like this. They really love this. And this is maybe like a very high quality trait um, on the list of things that they maybe have always desired and a very significant love interest that they would want to settle down with. Okay. So I feel that's pretty dope. Like, yeah, you have love coming towards you all. Um, some of you may not even be like expecting this. Okay. Because um, it really doesn't feel like your energy is in the 
it really doesn't feel like you're trying to to like call love in um i don't see you trying to repel it or necessarily call it in i just feel you're kind of like a it is what it is like i am who i am and you either like it love it or keep it moving type of energy so i feel like this is someone who is going to step up that also could be why that emperor energy kept coming through because this is someone who's going to step up and they are going to really show you that um they have what it takes to be in your life so i do feel like this is a serious individual they're not going to waste your time especially if you've had other individuals who have wasted your time in the past which could definitely be why you're in this queen of swords energy to not attract in the people who are not meant for you okay so i do see this person coming in all right i feel like they could be at a distance from you. I feel this person has had their eyes on you for some time. Yeah, this person does have commitment on the on on their mind. Okay. Yeah, this person has definitely been watching you. This person um could be watching you or following you if you have social media accounts or if this is in the workplace, this person has just been really eyeing you or this could be someone like if you are in some other type of like affiliate group or community with this individual i feel this is someone who is around you and they've had their eye on you for some time but you would have some type of similar type of i'm hearing interest or background so there's something about your interest or your background that is similar to this individual's but i also feel like it's like okay so you could have the same morals principles and values around commitment or just in general when it comes to um life so i feel like that could be what you will come to learn once this individual comes towards you that you have a lot of the same values and principles okay i do feel like this is a very significant relationship and connection i feel the two of you are spiritual um in the sense that in the sense that you value relationships, monogamous relationships, committed relationships as being very sacred and being very, um, the both of you are very keenly interested in only being in serious relationships, okay, where you and your partner are like devoted to each other. There has to be a strong sense of devotion loyalty and commitment is what i'm getting so because you're in this energy you have attracted in someone who is embodying this energy as well too who's going to come to you with a very serious um proposition and commitment now i do see that this individual may have had some type of very significant loss or some type of very significant transformation or transition that this individual is coming out of okay or and that they've experience so in one instance this could be maybe the type of environment that this person is in them moving towards you is going to be totally brand new because you know maybe they have been dealt with the type of people who embody your type of energy your type of like candidness frankness so you could be something new that this person has never dealt with before but this person is moving towards you so i feel like they're leaving an old energy of dealing with people who didn't embody the type of qualities that you had and they're coming towards you this also could be someone is ending a relationship so this person could be leaving a very significant relationship for some of you this person could be leaving a marriage and coming towards you um and then for others of you this could just be someone who used to be a player okay and they're no longer embodying that energy um they may have went through something very significant very drastic that has caused them to have to like let go of that lifestyle and for them to move forward and be guided towards um being more intentional about having a serious committed relationship okay yeah i'm seeing this individual has had to walk away um from a lot of toxic things in their life um, whether this was their own um behavioral lifestyle uh traits or patterns or like i said whether this was a chaotic low vibrational toxic environment that just was very nutritionless and really didn't offer them any type of sustenance for them to be the best version of themselves um as well as this could be other like 
codependent attachments um, of people that they were dealing with. Love interests, platonic, family associates, you know what I'm saying, that they are having to move away from. Um, so I feel this person, because of their decision to um, essentially step into a, a energy of wanting better for themselves and releasing what no longer serves them and allowing that to be released from them, they are going to get justice by coming towards you. So it seems in a sense that both of you are getting some type of um, karmic retribution for the positive seeds that you have sown to step into an energy of wanting more for yourself but not only just desiring wanting more for yourself embodying that energy and actually living that so you have been living your truth out as you like i said you you've been doing it onto others as you want done onto you so i feel like a lot of you have really just um been you either have been embodying this energy um or you've decided to step into an energy where you're just you know you're no longer interested in wasting your time on, like I said, nutritionless people, places, or things. Like, you're interested in doing and only embodying or living a type of life that's going to bring you the sense of fulfillment that you want. And that's going to make you truly happy. That's going to bring you balance. That's going to bring you harmony. That's going to bring you peace. And I feel like just by getting in that um, resonance and going along with how you have been um, being divinely led or divinely guided to you know do this don't do that and just being a little bit more um trusting and obedient in realizing that maybe some of the things that you had been doing never was for you to begin with and having to learn how to really step into an energy of getting very precise about what you want and then realizing that you can have what you want but then it also takes it also takes for you to be embodying the energy of you have to uphold some type of um it's like you have to uphold some type of standards in your life as well too so it's like being about what you say that you want so if you want people to come towards you and have integrity you want people to come towards you to be loyal you want people to come towards you to be honest then i feel like a lot of you have either like i said you you've either been this way or some of you have you know come into the energy of where you have been consistently doing this for a period of time making significant changes and improvements from how you used to be so you can get the desired outcome that you want and having people to show up in your life to exude and embody that energy back towards you so essentially having mirrored back to you what you put out there and i feel like now you're really going to start to see that i feel maybe for some time you know you've kind of been going at it alone or you felt kind of um like a lot of people haven't been up to your standard or on your level um, in some instances, but I feel like um, you definitely have this individual who's coming towards you and I feel like the both of you are going to balance each other's lives out and bring a great sense of peace and harmony. And I feel like this is the universe um, bringing the two of you together um, for you to come into this relationship and partner together with this individual, like I said, um, whether this is love, whether this is business, or whether this is going to be both. I just see that some type of work that you have done has finally paid off. Um, I feel like because a lot of you have just really been consistently decisive and intentional about just being devoted to upholding certain types of standards that you want to see in your life. Um, and just standards that are just making the quality of your life that much better. And I see you being positively rewarded for your acts of kindness, your acts of humility, your acts of respect, and your acts of just being um, just in life, okay? So those are all the messages that I have for you. If you would like to book a personal session with me, you can go to my website, www.divinelotusterrell.com. Be blessed.